morning how are you guys doing we've got the monaco squad already as you can tell behind me we've got the camo squad basically gmk 001's cars i've come down in the lotus which i thought i would take down we've got donze 093 as well with his svr but these are the stars of the show today we are going to be taking the full camo crew we're going to be adding another car which i'll be driving a camo c63 amg 507 edition so i'll be driving that we'll go up to la Tobi, up in the hills and we'll be filming loads with all of these different cars but i thought i would walk you around these quickly we have the f12 and the rs6 this one has 730 horsepower miltech exhaust this one's stock right the f12 it's completely stock and but man with these wraps they are absolutely stunning they've both been done by mm luxury custom michael who's over there and they are in matching camera wraps and it is the coolest thing to see ever you may have seen these on instagram They've been all over the place, but man, I am so, so excited to be taking these up the hill and to be hearing all of them. And we're all going to be going, we're leaving the Jag and the Lotus here. We'll be driving up with the three camo cars to do a bit of a camo photo shoot. So let's roll the intro and get started. Cheeky start up. So badass. Is it there? In one of the corners, I'm going to link up the, uh, the video to when we put the Miltec exhaust on this car. That sounds good too. Anyways, into the Audi, and we're gonna go get the Mercedes. Oh, sexy interior. Right, we're in the car park. We got the RS6 and then the F12 over here. Don's are just chilling. We got Bentley with like, it's like a boat with the side protection things. And then the Mercedes is coming out over there. And here is the C63, 507 edition. So, so, so sick. Look at this camo crew. Oh my God. You know, because three cars isn't enough, we figured we're going to get another one. So, uh, here's the SLS <laughs> Roadster, another car we're putting in. Attends, je te laisse sortir. Cheeky start up. Oh, oh, oh. In we go. Full carbon everywhere. Red leather interior. Ah, oh, I love this car so much. What a sex bomb. The arrival with all of the cars. C63 there, F12. And RS6, this is so sick. Here's the man himself, Hello. just chilling, GMK. And we got the GMK crew. Yeah, GMK this is your, your crew right here. Yeah, man, it's right. so cool. Camo crew. Camo crew. Yeah. Hashtag camo crew, that should become a thing. I need to do my seat, get the seat in position. And because George is, is really tall, I need to go way forward. Also, check this out. The key is camo as well, which is really sick. Okay, it's focused. I need to go up, all the buttons are there. All right, here we go, start up. Sounds good. First time driving a C63 507 edition, 507 horsepower, naturally, as the name indicates. And we're gonna be following the uh, the black and white camo crew. This is gonna be fun. Right, we're driving through Casino Square. We've got the F12 in front and the RS6 behind, which is pretty cool. And this is the definition of squad right here. Just cruising around Casino. We're gonna go take a couple photos at the beach club again. And then up to that table we go. So far, I'm loving this car. Filling all the cars up. And look, a Bentley GT3R has just shown up as well, which is very cool, but all of these cars looking sick, and I'm already loving the C63. Onwards. Oh yeah. So they both forgot, both the F12 and the RS6, to close their fuel caps, and then we've also been joined by a little GT3, just randomly, who said hello, and who is uh, chatting to the guys, and just did a little drift, which is pretty cool, but we're gonna be driving up there now. Uh, up to which you guys may remember from my perfect road video. That's my favorite road around Monaco. Okay, we're on the road now. Whoa. This is so cool. What do I think of the C63 507 so far? It feels like a muscle car. It is basically a muscle car. Twin turbo V8. No, sorry. Naturally aspirated V8 in this one. The new ones are twin turbo. I'm gonna close the window so you can hear me properly. Um, but it really does feel like a bit of a muscle car. You got that V8 growl behind you. It's a single clutch gearbox, but it's really quick and smooth. You don't really feel like it's a single clutch. It feels very double clutchy. 
um, and 507 horsepower means that you can really sort of push on it and it's keeping up with the F12 and the RS6 no problems at all the suspension is quite stiff but still you could I've also got in all the sports modes you can um, you can put it and then it's really nice and compliant it just feels like a really really expensive and nice daily driver with a lot of power and oh, I really like it I honestly really like it the Alcantara steering wheel is really nice the steering is a bit numb I'm not gonna lie this you don't have but I mean I have just got in out of the Lotus which has one of the most communicative steering you can get um, but it is very overall it likes to slide around whenever you put your foot down you can feel it looking for traction um, but overall it's really nice you're sat decently high as well I mean I am particularly because I'm sure um, <laughs> Uh, but you are sat a lot higher than in most supercars, so it's kind of a weird mix between your daily driver and your and your sports car. But it really works. But to be honest, if you could, I get one of these. Especially with this exhaust. Anyways, onwards to the top of the mountain. Pretty cool, some drone shots with a bit of music. I thought that, was, uh, that would be pretty insane to get it up. The sun is just going down, so we don't have all that much time. Uh, but I thought I'd get the drone up and show you guys some uh, a few artsy shots. Uh, I know a lot of you are commenting why you're just doing videos with your friends, cars, all this stuff. It's because, as I explained in the last video, we're doing all the admin stuff for the YouTube channel now. And when Josh comes down, the new car, whatever it will be, gets ordered. Then it will start back to the sort of um, more about my cars and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening. So when George called and said, do you want to take the C63 and we can go do a photo shoot? I was like, you know what? It's a good vlog opportunity. So all the cars are lined up now. They look so sick, the camera's struggling to focus. They look so, so cool. The 507, I really, really like. Um, insane looking car, you can see here. It's got the bonnet, somewhat inspired by the Black Series bonnet. So I can't imagine what the Black Series is like. Uh, the F12, as you can see on the inside, it's got black leather, black Alcantara, and all the carbon options. Such a sick car. I really like these rims as well, with the uh, badges in yellow to go with the calipers really really good um so i think what's going to happen now is we're going to drive down so this vlog was driving up driving back down but you get some experience of what's happening with the uh with the c63 and also a bit of drone shots so i thought it'd be cool but yeah it's been pretty epic but look megan rs going for it uh but look at the color of the sunset right now if i go over here you can tell this is on my favorite road around here but i mean how beautiful is that onwards i'll give you a little start up again third start up Boom, here we go. Back down to Monaco with the whole crew. This car, because it's so long and the exhausts are so far behind you. God, I got something in my pocket. I got my Lotus key in my, in my back pocket, so it's really uncomfy. But because it's so long, when you're inside, you can't hear it that much. But as soon as you crack the window a bit, then you can hear it properly. So all of these, though, definitely have the, uh, the F12, AMG included. Definitely the coolest, uh, coolest looking, sounding, and probably driving car here. Here we go. Let's give it some. Yeah, it's uh, spinning the tires at the back as soon as you put your foot down a bit. There is a tiny bit of a delay when you click the paddles to when uh, to when there's the actual gear shift and there. They're smooth when you're in auto, but when you're in manual, you can feel the changes. Here we go. Now back to cruising into town. All right, this is where I end the video, guys. It's been a really fun day. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. We've now parked all of the cars up like this. We've got the Lotus all the way at the end there, C63, RS6, F-Type SVR, and F12. It's been a really, really good day, really fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to subscribe, 
for more content like this and I'll be seeing you very very soon so cheers guys bye